hey guys in this video we are going to add the option for the user to crop the profile photo so let's first check how it will be let's log in with our account John Doe and let's update this profile Let's select an image for this profile. When we select an image, the crop model pops up automatically. We can move the image horizontally and vertically, and we can zoom using even this bar or using the touchpad. So let's make it perfect for our crop. And let's crop it now. We can crop it again from this button or this icon. Here, let's rotate the image. Let's rotate it 180 degrees to flip around and let's crop again. Let's submit. Now our image has been saved into our database and our storage in Firebase. Let's check if it is updated by adding more images into our gallery and here is the avatar is updated We are going to use this package react easy crop so let's install it and let's create a folder here we will call it crop inside it our component crop easy and let's create a folder for the crop function let's call it utils and inside it crop image.js we are going to use this example Let's copy this function. This is the function that will crop our image, but let's add our changes here. We don't need only to return the URL, we need also to return the file itself. So we can upload it into our database and the best storage. Let's add the name here. You can call it whatever you want. This name doesn't matter. What matters is the extension because we need to add it to our unique name for the image. And here let's retain an object. Let's add the file and the URL. Let's save this. And let's move to create our component. This component will be the content of our model.
let's add the dialog content and let's add here the cover We are going to add the props of this cover. Image will be our URL that we are going to receive from our profile model. The crop is a state. Let's create this state. And let's give it the default value is x0 and y0. And let's copy it two times. We are going to add the zoom and the rotation. Zoom and set zoom. The default value will be 1. That means 100%. And rotation set rotation the default value will be zero let's add them here crop equals crop zoom equals zoom and rotation equals rotation as well The aspect ratio is 1 because in our case it is a square. On zoom chain, it receives a function. We will pass it set zoom. And also on rotation chain, it receives the function set rotation. On a crop change also receives the function set crop. On crop complete, we'll create this function crop complete. Let's first import this state from React. And let's create also a state for cropped area pixels. And let's give it a default value of null. Now let's create our function, crop complete. It receives two parameters, cropped area and cropped area pixels. What we need here is a cropped area pixels. So in this case, we are going to set our state cropped area pixels with this parameter. This sets our states every time there is a change in the area of a cropping. Let's add here our styling. Let's give it a background of 333. It is a black color. 
and let's position it relative because the image and the container of the crowbar is absolute and also we need a height let's give it 400 with auto to make it in the center and let's add the min width for the screens more than 600 pixels to be 500 here let's add our dialog actions and that is the sliders and the buttons let's start with the sliders this is the container of the sliders let's import it first and let's add a styling for our actions we need them to be vertically aligned so the flex direction is column and the horizontal margin is 3 the vertical margin is 2 here let's style the container of our sliders with 100% and let's give it a little margin from the bottom now let's create our zoom slider Let's add a topography and let's create this slider. Let's add the props. value label display to display the value and we are going to use value label format to change the number to be percentage we will pass it a function to change the number into percentage minimum value is 1 maximum value is 3 and the step is 0 0.1 this step will make it zoom slowly not jumping from 100 to 200 and 300 it increases by 10 percent the value is our state zoom and on change we will set the zoom to be the value of this slider you may wonder why we are setting here the zoom and also setting it inside the crop because this one is controlling the change using the power of slider while the other inside the crop is controlling when you are using the touchpad and it is automatically reflected on our zoom slider but if you want it to depend only on the zoom slider you can just set the value here on the slider and remove it from the crowbar let's now create our function to change the number into a percentage let's call it zoom percent to receive our value and retain the format in percentage let's assign it here
and let's add it here after the text zoom to add the value here let's copy it and paste it for the rotation slider let's update the message and delete this we don't need it we just need to be the normal value the min value is zero the max is 360 degrees and let's update the value to be our state rotation here also rotation and set rotation to be rotation let's add the container of the buttons And let's add the button cancel let's add the props variant is outlined start icon will be cancel and on a click we will set our open crop to false we need to receive set open crop as a prop let's use it here and set open crop to false to close this model and retain back to our model profile let's copy this button and paste it for crop button variant is contained and start icon is a crop icon let's import it here and on a click we'll create this function crop image let's add it here it's a sync function because we are going to wait for a promise let's add our style display flex and gap between them horizontally and vertically is too because we need that in small screens as well and flex wrap is wrap let's now go to profile
let's create this state open crop set open crop the default value is false this state will control switching between profile model and the crop model let's add this condition here and let's add our component content inside this condition if it is true we will show the content of our profile and when it is false we will show our crop model let's now set this state here after we selected the file so when there is a change we will set it to true to show our crop model let's check now Oh, there is a mistake in our condition let's go back and change it oh, the condition here is the negation so let's update it and check again let's check the profile now and let's select an image and here it is the crop model pops up automatically let's check the zoom and rotation the zoom bar is automatically updated when we use the touchpad and the rotation also is working and the zoom is working even using the touchpad or the slider but we have little problem here the title stays the same and we need also to add an icon here if we need to crop again let's first add the crop icon let's add here a container for the avatar and for this icon button and let's uh, drag the avatar inside this container and here we are going to add the icon button Let's import it. The icon is crop. Let's import it from the material UI. now let's add the condition if there is file selected we will show this icon but if there is no file in our state we will not show it let's add the props for this icon button 
area label will be crop this is for the machine reading and the color to be primary our blue color and on a click we will set our open crop state to be true that means we will toggle our crop model Let's style our container. We will align them horizontally, so we need it to be flex. And we will align the items to be center. Let's also change the title of the two models. We need here use effect. It will depend on our open crop state. We will check this state. If it is true, we will open the crop model. But first, let's import model and set model from our context. Here we are going only to change the title. So we're going to set the model to be the model itself. And we'll change the property title to be crop profile photo. And in case it is false, we will change the title to be the title of our model profile. Let's change the message to be update profile and let's check again. Let's select an image. And here the title has been updated. And when we cancel and retain back to this model, also the title change. We need to pass here also as a prop, set photo URL and set file. Let's now work on our crop image function. Try and catch. And we will extract the file and URL from the object retained by the promise that we have updated already. So let's wait for this function. Get crop image and pass it the photo URL, the cropped area pixels, and the rotation. And this function will do the job to crop the image according to these parameters. Let's import the props set photo URL and set file that has been passed 
from our profile component. And here after the promise result successfully, we will set the photo URL to be the URL and we will set the file to be the file we have received. Let's import set alert and set loading from our context. We need to use them here as well. Here after this, we can close this model by setting the set open crop to be false. And let's here set the loading to be true. And after finishing this function, we'll set it to be false. In case of error, we'll show the message to the user. So let's set the alert to be true. Severity to be error. Message to be the error message. Timeout, let's give it five seconds. And the location to be the same model. And let's console log the error to see the details of the error as developers. Let's save now and check. Let's open again. Let's select an image. And let's zoom and crop. It is here. It has been cropped. And let's also check the rotation. Let's crop again. It's working. Let's submit our new profile image. Your profile has been updated and it is also reflected here. Let's add also images to double check. And it is here. Let's check in our storage for this user. Here is the profile image.
everything is working and also in our storage let's check again and here is the new image our last step is to publish our new work into Firebase hosting so let's use our command this is our command we created before to build and deploy our web app into Firebase hosting so let's run it here Now let's check our link. Let's log in using John Doe. Um, let's update our profile and let's crop and submit and it is working and everything has updated